I am so pumped about today's stream because we are working with both iQuinix and Canon Keys on something that's available, I believe, in stock on their site right now. It comes in a, z a gazillion colors. I'm a really big fan of the light blue, but unfortunately, we are not building that one today. It's pretty affordable overall. It's $2.35. It's Alu. It comes in one, two, three, six, seven, eight colors. And you can have like, there's a couple of other options. It comes with Bluetooth. So we'll see if it's any good. I am like cautiously optimistic. I've never loved, loved, like love, loved anything by Iquinix, but I've also never hated it. It's always been like, it's good, but it could be cheaper for what it is. You know what I mean? It's never been like, oh, this is trash. I have already opened this a little bit. This does come with a coiled aviator cable which is pretty cool i would say this is a step above glorious quality but it's not like custom coiled cable quality you know what i mean uh it's good but it's not like incredible and then they also include an actually pretty nice switch puller keycap puller and screwdriver bits so they sent me over i believe the creamy colored one I really, really love the light blue one and the dark green one that they have as well, but I didn't get to choose. Don't fold the PCB. A rectangle, nice. Buy rectangles. Damn, I can't get over this color though. I really, really love it. I don't know why this particular like shade of soya is calling to me, but it is. I am kind of utterly in love. Can it go in both ways? Pardon? What, what are, what are we talking about? <laughs> Excuse me? All right, so we have here a plate that is basically not a plate. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. It's gonna be very flexible. I assume their gasketing is very stiff, so they want flex to come from the plate. We have optional PE foam, optional inner foam, optional bottom foam here. You know me, we're probably going to try to leave this bottom foam out at the very least. I am very interested in hearing what it sounds like without any foam. But looking at this, I'm a little bit concerned it might sound ass. So we might at least throw the PE foam in. I don't know. We'll make that decision later. Really leaning towards at least doing PE foam because it's not really going to change the way it sounds very much. These feet are magnetic. Okay, so basically, oh my god, <laughs> my thumb has a little pocheco on it, so I can't stick it in that hole. Um, don't take that out of context. Ooh, stabs, love that, okay. Screws, love those. So we have four on gaskets, more screws, more screws. Okay, there's only four screws. Um, for gaskets, that makes me a little nervous, but I do see there's some internal ones, so that gives me hope. Oh, I see, okay. So this is kind of like the way the Piggy 60 does its gasketing mounting. It's gasketing, sorry. Where they use like an internal cage instead of sandwich mounting it. I actually, this is low key, a very fire method of mounting. Uh, the Piggy is my all time favorite board. It sounds amazing. Doesn't matter what you put it in it. It sounds really, really good. I think it's because of that. Nobody has really caught on yet. So I have high hopes. I think we might build this no foam uh, because I'm very curious to see how this sounds. You'll see You'll see more when we like put the gaskets on, but I'm now excited. While we pull this out, I'm gonna yeet this PE foam because I now have faith in this build. I feel like at this point in time, not having a plate fork is just me being stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> and I will not apologize for it. Just have a hard time paying 10 bucks for it for some reason. I'm cheap. Pay 300 for a 3D printer and make it your own. Oh, brilliant. Plate forks are $4. No healthy. Healthy. Plate forks are not $4. Plate forks are $4 plus shipping. All right, we are all put together. We can put her in the board now. I'm pretty sure what goes on here is we put our gaskets down. I never read a build guide. Build guides are for suckers. If I can build it, that's the way it's supposed to be built. So, that's a terrible life philosophy, by the way. Follow a build guide. I usually get protos and stuff before there's a build guide, or I forget to look up a build guide because I'm so used to building without a build guide. What are the long uh, body colored pieces? Are those leaf springs similar to the Salvation? No. I'll show you in a sec what I'm pretty sure they're for. And by pretty sure, I mean 99.9% .9 sure. So I am pretty sure 
that they are the second half of the gasket mounting. I'm pretty sure they're actually the mounting. Dude, pop a gasket. I'm guessing. I just want to like reiterate that. I'm guessing. Both guys are for suckers. But I'm pretty sure you pop a gasket on there. Then the whole assembly is held in place. Like that. So your plate will go right in there. And that looks like the right amount of room for a plate to me. If I'm horrifically wrong, at the very least, it'll be funny. So. I just have to add gaskets to each of these little strippy strips. Like a gaskets on the floor. Also, if you're new here and you're wondering why I attach the gaskets to the case instead of the plate, I prefer attaching gaskets to the case so that you can use any plate with it rather than having to worry about getting additional gaskets if you ever change out the plate. I have big balls when it comes to fixing shit, but not that big. But da 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 hey, That looks kind of snappy, doesn't it? Alright, I see you! Is that an off-white cream or a pale pink? It is a cream, but it's kind of a pinky beige. It's definitely a beige, though. It's just like on the pinker, pinker end. This board sounds really good. I don't think it needs your other foams unless you're trying to make it silent. If you want to make this loud, because it is not loud, try your PE foam. Uh, but honestly, like, it sounds pretty damn good. Not very loud, though. You'll see what I mean in a sec. I feel like this is hitting something. I think we're good now. My apologies. I like a loud keyboard. <laughs> Something you need to know about me is if my Valorant teammates aren't asking what keyboard I'm using when I'm calming to them in game, I'm not sure I want it. This is like, it's not that it's soup, it's not that it's silent, but it is fairly quiet. Um, and this is again without any foam at all. So this is, uh, is I'm gonna get without like modding. PE foam again will help. I'm pretty sure the majority of that sound loss is because of the holes in the plate. Um, so that would help with it. I don't think there's a way you can make this board sound bad though. Um, because of the way it's gasket mounted, which is my preferred method, which you don't actually see very often, I think it's pretty impossible for it to sound bad. That makes sense. I will say there's like a significant amount of flex here. Um, especially for a board this cheap. Also, I want to say the finishing on it is really solid. I really also like the knob. The tactility of the knob and the fact that the knob is color-coded to match the case makes my heart go thump thump. So I am a big, big fan of that. I like the sound. All right, we have an Ono Typing Test Redemption. We'll do that really quick and then we'll probably call it a day. I think that's a very good idea, actually, Trey. That way you guys can actually hear this sound. So I'm gonna turn off our face cam because he's a shy boy. And then I'll go Shanghai him into doing some tippy tappies going at it. All right, here we go. This is the this keyboard with adorable keycaps.
What is that word? <laughs> Alan really doesn't have his glasses on. It's okay, they can't see. This is hard. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out.